You're watching ABC 7 News at 11. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jacqueline Matter. Topping our news tonight, hundreds of people on the Sun Coast are taking action to make their voices heard. Tonight, they gather to try and get a commitment from some Sarasota County commissioners and school board members regarding issues such as education and affordable housing. ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us live tonight from the Sarasota Municipal Auditorium where that meeting took place. Rick. Yeah, Jacqueline, there were a lot of people here tonight. Some hot issues did take center stage. A night that took many months in the making came together on Monday. More than a thousand people from over 20 local congregations were looking for a commitment from county commissioners and school board members. The two main issues, affordable housing and out of school suspensions. This is the way that we respectfully uh, as a fuller community uh, of people of faith and others who will be joining us tonight to say that we stand by these issues and we want to see these just changes made in our community. One example came from a woman who shared her story of homelessness. She says she had to live out of a car for a period of time because there weren't any affordable places to live in Sarasota County. Some of the event organizers are pushing commissioners to bring a lot more affordable housing to the area. We are always here to support all the programs and tonight we would like to get some confirmation. The other hot button issue was geared toward the education sector. There's an outcry for Sarasota County School Superintendent Todd Bowden and school board members to better implement restorative strategies when it comes to out of school suspensions. The goal is to decrease these suspensions and help students to manage social conflict and altercations between peers. We want them to work with those children and be there to support those children so that those those things do not go against them as far as getting into the military or future things in life. The Shore Group organized Monday night's event. They spent about a year researching these issues in search of the best possible solutions. Many feel this was a big step in the right direction. We can work together over the diverse uh, diversity of, um, of who we are and who are brought together tonight that we can work with our city officials and that they want to work with us. And at this time, it's not known if another one of these meetings will take place anytime soon. Reporting live from downtown Sarasota this evening, I'm Rick Adams. Jacqueline, back to you. Okay, thank you, Rick. Governor Rick Scott is taking steps to combat the opioid crisis across the state and right here on the Sun Coast. Today, he was in Manatee County signing what he calls a top priority bill going through this year's session. In all, the bill directs $53.5 million in grants to treatment programs. Manatee County Sheriff Rick Wells says in the past nine months he has seen a significant decrease of opioid addictions, but there's still a lot more work that has to be done. We need funding available for long term treatment because just a 12 step program is not going to it's just not going to work when you're dealing with an opioid uh, addiction. That bill will also update Florida's prescription database to track each patient's medication history in the state and across the nation. Now, this all comes as President Trump promises to crack down on drug dealers. In a press conference from New Hampshire today, Trump specified his plan to tackle the opioid crisis, including the death penalty for drug dealers. His plan also calls for a nationwide public awareness campaign to educate on the dangers of prescription and opioid abuse, a safer prescribing plan aimed at cutting nationwide opioid prescription fills by one third over the next three years, and ensuring that first responders are supplied with naloxone, a life-saving medication used to reverse overdoses. If we're not going to get tough, on the drug dealers who kill thousands of people and destroy so many people's lives, we are just doing the wrong thing. President Trump has faced some harsh criticism for stopping short of declaring the opioid crisis a national emergency, which would have made available a surge of federal funds to address treatment and recovery efforts. 
Florida will soon start sharing voter information to make sure that people are not registered in other states. Today, Governor Rick Scott signed a bill into law that allows the Department of State to share voter information with other states, and it also allows Florida to share driver license information. So far, 23 states in the District of Columbia are on board for the partnership, which will help combat voter fraud, something President Trump has said in the past is a major problem during election seasons. And because of another bill signed into law today, Florida will permanently fund anti-abortion pregnancy centers. Governor Scott signed the bill into law today, heavily favored by Republicans. Democrats argued that the state should not fund religious organizations or pregnancy centers that do not provide a full range of services. Republicans have said that the state would simply be helping to care for women who chose to go through with their pregnancies or service providers who can include faith-based organizations, but they cannot promote religious content or use state money on other religious messages. New this evening, authorities say the brother of the teen charged with killing 17 people at a Florida high school has been arrested for trespassing at that same school. The Broward County Sheriff's Office says 18-year-old Zachary Cruz was arrested today at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School and charged with trespassing. The report says the teen was found riding his skateboard at the school, though he had received prior warnings from school officials to stay away from the campus. The report adds that Zachary Cruz told the arresting deputy that he was there to, quote, reflect on the school shooting and to soak it all in. His 19-year-old brother, Nicholas Cruz, faces 17 first-degree murder charges in connection with that Valentine's Day shooting. Meanwhile, a graduate from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High is working to honor the victims of the Parkland shooting. Glass artist Zachary Knudsen plans to make this sculpture a reality. He started working on the design the night of the shooting. The metal and impact glass installation will stand approximately 17 feet tall with fragments of colorful laminate. The names of the 17 victims will also be listed on one side. The artist also plans to install LED lights to illuminate the names at night. Well, let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan for a look at our first alert forecast and some big changes headed our way, Bob. That's right, Jacqueline. And temperatures right now very warm, very muggy out there, too, on the verge of seeing some fog. Already got some haze in the atmosphere due to the high moisture content out ahead of the actual cold front that will move through late tomorrow evening. Now, it's 72 that's warm for this time of year. 71 on the dew point. That's high. That's summer like reading there, making the humidity 97%. So if you've been outdoors recently, you've noticed that mugginess out there. South winds at 10. Those winds will pick up through the overnight hours. The pressure 2985. It has been rising a little bit, uh, but we still are anticipating some rainfall here beginning mainly tomorrow afternoon. Now there's a chance we could see a few morning showers, but boy, the rough weather has been to our north associated with the actual uh, front and low pressure area that is moving closer there in Atlanta. Uh, some tornado water watches in effect across central Georgia tonight all the way over into Alabama. Uh, this area in red that you see just southwest of 285 there in uh, Atlanta, that is a tornado warning right now. We'll talk about the severe weather threat for us uh, coming up in just a few minutes. Jacqueline. Okay, thanks, Bob. New at 11, a Nokomis man is in jail for trafficking meth, according to Sarasota County Sheriff's deputies. Dylan Woodward was allegedly selling drugs out of a Northport hotel where he was arrested. Deputies went into the hotel where Woodward was allegedly selling and found almost 200 grams of meth, oxycodone pills, and drug paraphernalia. He has 18 prior arrests and is wanted on three outstanding warrants, and he will stay in custody until his bond is paid. Sarasota County Sheriff's deputies are also responsible for stopping a human trafficking group. Deputies arrested three people from Orlando Friday afternoon in connection with human trafficking and drug charges. According to the female inmate, her acquaintance DeAndre Green forced she and another woman into prostitution. Green regularly brought both women from Orlando to Sarasota for the sole purpose of engaging in sexual activity. Following those transactions, Green would keep the money and supply both women with heroin to support their addiction. And a Venice man has been arrested for possession of child pornography. 74-year-old Hartley Haynes was arrested after detectives received a tip. The IP address at his home was used to download child pornography. An update now on the bridge collapse that happened in South Florida last Thursday. Authorities are saying that the death toll could rise. Crews worked throughout Saturday and into the night to recover the bodies of lives lost in that bridge collapse. Five of the six people who died have been identified. 
they had to break this thing into little pieces to get it off of, off of my uh, knees. The first lawsuit has been filed in connection with the bridge collapse, a bicyclist that was hit by a car trying to get out of the way when the bridge fell. And a Cirque du Soleil performer, performer who died Saturday during a Tampa show posting on Instagram earlier that day that he was performing an aerial straps act for the first time that evening. Jan Arnaud fell about 20 feet to the ground while performing. He was taken to a hospital after the fall where he later died. He had been a performer with Cirque du Soleil for more than 15 years. Liana Ashton, a circus performer in the Tampa area, says when you're at that level, you know the dangers involved. If you're in a high act, if you're in a ground act, if you're, you know, an animal trainer, we all, we all have those risks, those great risks, but we love what we do. Cirque du Soleil canceled its final two Tampa shows while the company and authorities investigate how that accident happened. Happening in Florida, the Constitution Revision Commission is narrowing down a list of proposed constitutional amendments that could go on the November ballot. One amendment would require anyone purchasing a firearm to be 21 years old while requiring at least a three day waiting period after a gun purchase to carry out a comprehensive background check. Other proposals include plans to increase the mandatory retirement age for judges, ban greyhound racing and ban vaping in workplaces. One commissioner is worried that putting too many of these proposals on the ballot will be confusing to voters. When we look at our most sacred, sacrosanct document, um, what can be accomplished there and there alone, and what could be accomplished elsewhere by legislative enactment and statute. Proposals approved this week will go to the Style and Drafting Committee, which will play a key role in refining them and creating ballot titles. Plans making it beyond that committee will then return to the full commission, where they must receive at least 22 votes from the 37-member group to be placed on that November ballot. A drive through Lakewood Ranch shows a lot of new developments in the works. One coming in 2019, a $50 million senior housing community. It will be located on the corner of University Parkway and Lorraine, Lorraine Road. Across the street, a new Publix is also under construction. Developments like these are what helped Lakewood Ranch get a new title, just named the third best-selling master plan community in the country by real estate experts. We'll stay with us. Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with your first alert forecast. Plus, Macy's is trying to make the checkout process quicker. We'll show you how you can skip lines. And a new study shows the majority of Americans are not putting enough into their savings account. We have some tips to help get you started. Supan, part of the U.S. Paralympic rugby team. In my game, movement is everything. I get frustrated when my move is blocked. Especially when that guy has no right to be there, even just for a minute. I love a challenge, but I don't like to play this game every day. A message from the United Spinal Association. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G. Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G-Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. We all love our kids and want what's best for them. You have the power to help your kids learn to succeed in life every day. When you promote a love for learning at home, children build the skills they need to be ready for school. You can be their everyday hero. It's easy. Just text Everyday Hero to 77453 for simple learning tips. The skills you develop as a soldier in the Army National Guard can give you a head start on your career. Gain practical experience with technology and equipment that will give you a leg up in the civilian world. Learn critical leadership skills and to be part of a team. Serve your community and your country part-time while earning money for an education. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn about the paid training and career opportunities available to you in the Army National Guard. 
I'm Deshauna Barber. In 2016, I was proud to win the title of Miss USA. What makes me just as proud is my service in the U.S. military. In the service, a soldier gains skills and learns values like discipline and leadership. That makes them an asset to any business that hires them. If you're an employer, on behalf of Coalition to Salute America's Heroes, remember to hire smart and bet on a vet. Visit saluteheroes.org or call this number to learn more. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. Well, Bob, some uh, big changes happening tomorrow, not only with the weather, but also it is the first day of spring. That's right, 12-15, just after noon, it starts officially, and guess what? We start getting some winter weather after <laughs> that. So uh, this no is figure. the uh, last uh, full day of uh, winter of 2017, 2018, and we saw warm temperatures. Today's where we're into the uh, upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Uh, we'll show you the last sunset, too. This is it. Fred Seeger getting this one. Casey Key of the last sunset of winter officially here and here's another one from Rattlesnake Key up by Teresia Dennis Kovach uh, getting that you can see a little haze off in the distance there that's that high dew point temperature a lot of moisture content in the low levels of the atmosphere and that's going to aid in some of these storms tomorrow that move on through so we have some instability some warm temperatures and it looks like we will see the potential at least uh, for some rough storms to move through right now the tornado threat is very minimal at this uh, point uh, more importantly, we may get some uh, bigger storms or bow echoes, if you will, uh, which uh, does cause at times some damaging winds as they move on shore. Right now, severe weather uh, possible into Georgia all the way over into Alabama tonight. There have been numerous reports of hail and heavy rainfall as well as tornadoes right near the Atlanta airport. So there's some delays definitely uh, near the airport there with some tornado warnings going off for us. All the weather has been to the north of us today as far as any kind of rough weather goes and some heavy rainfall too. some estimated rainfall amounts uh, just to the northwest of Gainesville up near seven inches and that moisture content very uh, thick throughout this region right now. This is a little piece of energy that's going to scoot off to the east. That won't have an impact with us. This is not our system that's going to bring us the rain. That's back up nor uh, toward Georgia and toward Alabama. Some rotation with a couple of those cells though, earlier today near Ocala. So some severe storms possible Tuesday. That chance is very small at this point. Uh, again, for tornadoes as well. Windy through Wednesday, though. We're going to see some strong winds uh, beginning tomorrow, and small craft advisories are now up for coastal waters until 4 a.m. on Wednesday. And again, uh, the cooler weather moves in uh, for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with high temperatures below average, back down into the 60s for highs on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But looks like the weekend is looking quite nice. Uh, back in the 70s we go. Right now it is warm, 70, a few clouds, the south winds at 10, and the uh, humidity at 97%. The high today was 80 degrees. That's well above the average, which is 77. This morning's low, that too running high. And looks as though the forecast track again showing uh, the chance for us getting the storms here uh, tonight, not much at 20%. Now, there may be a few isolated showers afternoon, uh, maybe even in the late morning, but I doubt it. Uh, we'll start to see that shower activity really increase offshore uh, beginning around 3, 4 o'clock. And that continues that line itself. This is the prefrontal trough. This is the actual cold front. Uh, by 8 o'clock uh, tomorrow night should be through our entire viewing area and then uh, colder air to follow and move on in and bring us a little bit of a chill. Now the Storm Prediction Center still keeps us in that slight risk for severe weather here. On top of that, there's a small chance again at around 10 to 15 percent for the uh, tornadoes to be uh, popping up. Now there, if they see any tornadoes at all, they'll be short lived and they'll be very small, uh, but nonetheless can cause damage. So we'll watch these cells. As they make their way on shore. Tomorrow is a first alert weather day, meaning it will be disruptive. And look at these winds picking up 20 miles an hour out of the southwest, and then they really pick up by seven o'clock as the storms move in. And they're not uh, they're not going to let up either. 20 miles out of the uh, northwest with gusts as high as 30 to 35 miles an hour. So as you would guess, a small craft advisory is in effect uh, through Wednesday morning. Seas building throughout the day with choppy conditions out there and becoming rough in the afternoon. So uh, the high tomorrow 79, but we'll see the clouds and showers definitely throughout the afternoon and evening. 
windy and cooler on Wednesday, and we stay on the cooler side through Friday. Eventually, though, by the weekend, things start to warm up. Our lows on Friday morning will be into the upper 40s, even some mid 40s well inland. Back to you, Jacqueline. Okay, thank you, Bob. Macy's plans to let shoppers use its mobile app to help skip lines. Here's how it works. Customers can scan and pay for products with their smartphone. Then they go to a special mobile checkout counter close to the exit for purchase verification, removal of security tags, and bagging purchases. The department store chain plans to offer those mobile checkouts at all of its U.S. stores by the end of this year. And many people are seeing more green in their wallets thanks to a good economy, tax cuts, and the stock market. But according to a Bankrate.com survey, 20% of working Americans are not putting money into savings. The top reasons given for not saving? Too many expenses and too much debt. To save yourself some stress, experts recommend opening a bank account for the sole purpose of saving. Open a bank account that is dedicated for the sole purpose of savings. And the idea is to pay yourself first. So use direct deposit. And this is a somewhat painless way to begin saving some money. Financial planners also recommend you save 10% of your income. But even if you put a small amount of money away, experts say you should be happy with those results. We'll stay with us. Sports is coming up next. But first, here's what's coming up on Jimmy Kimmel. Kimmel's new tonight with the extremely versatile Tyler Perry. Well, Tyler forever. And the suave Jensen Ackles. Oh. <laughs> Plus Dua Lipa and Judge James lays down the law. You are out of order. I'm going to hit you with that thing. <laughs> Kimmel, new tonight on ABC. So Matt told me to meet him at 7 a.m. sharp right here. It is now 7.01 a.m. You think Matt will leave without me? Hey, is Matt here? Uh, long con. Long con. Just missed him. Just missed him. All done. Mr. Sparky guarantees they're on time and the repair is free, so chop chop. Call 888 8 Sparky. Matt, you started without me. I finished without you, too. Says Art, Sarasota's only area rug superstore. Want the latest weather and traffic conditions wherever you go? Introducing ABC 7's revolutionary new First Alert Weather App. With our state of the art new weather app, you get up to the minute weather alerts, interactive radar maps, current conditions, 10 day forecasts, real time traffic maps, and weather video from ABC 7, all at your fingertips. And it's free. Just search Suncoast WX in the App Store and download onto all your devices today. Sponsored by Mr. Sparky. If you're between 50 and 85 years old, call the number on your screen right now for free information on how to save your family thousands of dollars. We're Family Love Plans, and we've been helping families just like yours for over 30 years. The average funeral today can cost up to $10,000 or more, but the most you'll get from government benefits is just $255. How will your family pay the difference? At Family Love Plans, we can help you and your family. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam and your plan can't be canceled. Better still, your rate will never go up and your benefits will never go down. Get your free information about our senior plans. Just answer a few simple questions and receive approval right over the phone. Call 1-800-707-3608. That's 1-800-707-3608. That is a pretty good breakfast. You're not even eating. Not hungry. No? Why not? What's up? Uh, Kath and I knew that Jenny had been partying a bit. Found out she tried heroin. Most people don't know what to say about drugs, but we do. Visit us at drugfree.org. 
I'm Alan Cohn. Red flag legislation giving law enforcement the authority to remove guns from those who are a danger to themselves or others. Will it work? Tomorrow on ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Now, sports. The Florida State Seminoles are on their way to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2011 after upsetting top-seeded Xavier with a furious comeback. P.J. Savoy made a three-pointer with a little more than a minute left to give Florida State its first lead of the second half, and the Seminoles rallied from a 12-point deficit to beat the Musketeers 75-70 last night. This is just the fifth time in school history that the Knolls have advanced to the round of 16. Florida State will play fourth-seeded Gonzaga on Thursday night in Los Angeles. The Knolls head coach Leonard Hamilton says people should not be surprised that so many top seeds in this year's tournament are dropping. Sometimes the, the team that's the most talented might not necessarily win the game. It's the team that's playing well at that particular time. I can't say that we uh, maybe are extreme, uh, much better than Xavier, but we were much better than Xavier in the last three, uh, two and a half minutes of the game. And sometimes when the games are close, that's all that's important. And this is the final week of spring training here on the Sun Coast as teams get ready to head north. And we have just one game tomorrow. It's a night game. The Orioles will host the Tampa Bay Rays at Ed Smith Stadium. First pitch is set for 6.05. That's a look at sports. We'll have tonight's winning lotto numbers when we come back. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. The 2018 Sarasota County Fair is set to begin March 16th through 25th. This year, there will be rides for everyone thanks to Bell City Amusements. Experience your favorite entertainers along with some new and exciting acts like the Tiger Encounter, the Kachunga and Alligator Show, comedian ventriloquist Steve Brogan, plus our new and exciting SRQ schools at its best. And remember, ride arm bands all day, every day. The 2018 Sarasota County Fair, March 16th through 25th. See you there. Planning a Carnival Fantasy Cruise out of Mobile? Then check out the park and cruise packages at the luxurious Battle House and Renaissance Riverview Plaza Hotels. Stay at the Battle House for $169 per night or the Riverview Plaza for just $149 per night and leave your car for the duration of your cruise. Includes transportation to and from the cruise terminal. If you're cruising out of Mobile, come stay with us. Call 1-800-MARRIOTT or visit Marriott.com now. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. Hi, I'm Stephanie Webb. And I'm Ray Collins. Your chance to decide if more tax dollars should go to local schools. Voters go to the polls tomorrow in both Sarasota and Manatee counties. We'll have the Sarasota election supervisor live here in our studio. That's tomorrow on Good Morning Sun Coast. John? Potential for strong, even severe storms as a frontal boundary approaches. We'll give you the latest. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Everything all right? Actually, you know how Tom had knee surgery? Sure. We found out Brad's been taking his painkillers. It turns out he's been doing it for a while. Most people don't know what to say about drugs, but we do. Visit us at drugfree.org. ABC 7, the Suncoast's official Florida lottery station. The Florida lottery winning numbers are sponsored by Frontier Fios.
In entertainment news, the Oslo Rep Theater is getting ready for its 2018-2019 season. Today, they announced some of the shows that you can expect to see. Hundreds of theater subscribers were on hand earlier this afternoon for that big announcement. The 60th anniversary season will kick off on November 13th with The Music Man. Other shows that you can look forward to include The Crucible, A Doll's House Part 2, and Noises Off, just to name a few. As always, there's a lot of excitement in the air, especially this year with it being a milestone year at the theater. And some big changes in our weather pattern that you were yes, talking about. Yes, we want to yes, yes. make sure that people download our app. Our weather app, absolutely, mm -hmm. the news app, too. Uh, by the way, the uh, music band, I love that one. Yeah, yeah, that is 76 <laughs> trombones led the big parade. Anyway, uh, we are looking at uh, some uh, noise tomorrow evening, and that noise is going to be uh, the uh, noise of thunder, it looks like, uh, especially late afternoon, evening. Good chance for that. Meteorologist John Scalzi will have much more uh, in the morning program there. You see the chances of rain mm -hmm. really increase after 3 o'clock. And of course, tune in to Good Morning Sun Coast. John will have an updated version of the uh, forecast track and give you a little bit better timing as far as it goes. And stay up to date. Thank you so much, Bob. And thank you all for joining us this evening. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Have a good one.